All right, welcome back to our series on building an e-commerce store using WordPress, WooCommerce, and the Canvas theme. This is a project-based course, so it's a little bit lengthy, but I guarantee if you stick with it, by the time you get through this, you will know how to add variable products and do some really cool things with those variable products. Uh, we're going to be looking at variable products and we're going to be also adding some new shipping classes and changing our shipping configuration. If you've been following along from the start, you know we uh, set up an initial basic flat rate shipping. We're going to modify that some today. We're going to add some shipping classes so we can add different pricing to our shipping options. So we're looking at adding product variations today and adding shipping classes those would be primarily i may break these off into micro videos too as well i may break these off into micro videos too as well but let's just take a quick look at what we want to do before we get started all right we want to add some verbal products and we're looking at the we're going to add these kong dog collars here and the product variation on this one's going to be by color so we can see we can select different colors and we're going to add this nifty little a color swatch there and another one we're going to do we're going to add this will be by style we're going to add an image swatch and we're going to do one with weight so we can select by weight choose an option by weight now this theme whoops this theme you're looking at right here is a different theme than the canvas theme so our theme is not going to look like this at all but the product functionality will be the same so let's get started. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to introduce some new uh, plugins. So let me just quickly go over them. One's going to be the Format Media Titles plugin. The reason why we want that plugin, the reason why we want that plugin, Format Titles plugin, just type it into your box here, add new, Format Titles. Uh, for, excuse me, it's Format Media Titles. And we'll just hit Enter there. And you'll see I already have it installed. But this is the one you want. And the reason why we want that, let's go take a look. Is You know, when you're uploading images, if this is now, let's back up, backtrack just a little bit. You only want this plugin is it, if you give your images a unique title that, you know, is a descriptive title of the image. Because what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate the need to always go in and edit our images, get the correct title, remove hyphens, stuff of that nature. And we also want to throw the title into the alt for good search engine uh, reasons, screen readers, stuff like that. So we're going to look at the settings here. Once you've got that installed, again, that's format media titles. You want to make sure hyphens is checked and underscores is checked. It's going to remove those automatically. I have mine set to capitalize all words. And uh, you can obviously change that if you want. And I'm going to also make sure under miscellaneous options, I'm going to add title to alternative text field. And I'm going to show you real quickly why we want to use that plugin. It's going to save you a little, save us. It's going to save us a lot of work. So I've got all my images ready to upload. So I'm going to upload them real quickly. We're going to add new. And I'm going to shrink just a little bit. And pull this up. And I'm going to shrink this a little bit just so I can drag them all over. And we're going to show you real quickly what that plugin does. Let it finish doing its thing here. Okay, it's finished doing its thing. So let's go look at what that plugin did. For us real quick let's go to the library and let's just take a look at one you'll notice I had the file name top fin slate rock aquarium cave with hyphens between it but look what it did it went ahead and took the hyphens out stuck it into the title and automatically stuck it into the alternative text now if you're using image 000182 or whatever like that you don't want to use this plugin you'll want to go in and name your give your titles and alternative text fields proper names 
But if you already name in your files before you upload them like I do, it's going to automatically do that for you. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is if you haven't watched previous videos, we talked about the Media Categories plugin. Uh, it's, you can get that for 10 bucks at PluginForge.com. I'll leave a link below. But the reason why we want to use the Media Categories uh, Media Categories is once you install the plugin, it gives you a new link here under Media called Categories, and you can organize. You know, we you get the media categories link, and you can organize your media by categories. Now, in a earlier video, I showed you how to do that. I also showed you a code snippet to include into your child functions PHP that would prevent the categories from showing up on the front end like your post categories and your product categories do. We don't want that to happen. I'll leave that link to the code snippet and all that in this video. Link to the actual actual plugin as well. But I'm going to create some uh, some additional categories so I can, and we're doing this so we can quickly find images. Once you get hundreds or even thousands of images, it becomes difficult to find images that you need. That's the main reason for using this. So I'm just going to add a, a few categories here real quick. Tropical fish. Tropical fish accessories. Dog food. And dog accessories. And now we're going to go back to the uh, media categories library. And we're going to use the bulk edit features here. Uh, we're going to put the, did I not? Yeah, okay. We're going to put all the tropical fish, into, this is for tropical fish here, by the way. We're going to put that into the tropical fish. We're going to add it to the tropical fish accessories. Obviously, I misspelled that, but that's all right. We'll fix it later. And we're going to add the dog food to the dog food. Add dog food to dog food. There. And we're going to add the collars to the dog accessories. And I believe that's all of them. All of them will be assigned a category at this point. Dog accessories. And just because it's bothering me, I want to go fix that tropical fish. I want to get the spelling correct on it. Quick edit, tropical. And we'll update that. Now we're going to go back and look at our media library. And let's just pick this for example. We'll pick the dog food. And you'll see it is now located in the dog food category. So what makes this handy is when you're doing a product or a post, we'll do it quickly with a post here. You know, I don't have a lot of product, uh, product images at this time but you know they build up over time especially if you have a large store but let me just show you real quick what you can do with this let's say we wanted to add an image we could sort just the images we want to go by so we could just sort and add a say dog accessories or if we wanted to change that and go here to tropical fish accessories it just helps finding images it just it greatly greatly helps for lack of a better way to describe that all right and the final plugin we're going to want to add is the variation swatches and photos for woocommerce that's what gives you those color swatches and image swatches that we showed again i will leave a link it's 10 bucks at pluginforge.com i will leave a link below in the description so you can grab those photos the image uh the variation swatches and photos plugin for WooCommerce. So those are the plugins you're going to want to have if you want to follow along. You don't have to have them. You can learn how to change shipping classes and add products with variations quite fine without them. You just can't add the extra functionality of swatches that that I showed you earlier or be able to sort your images by category if you 
choose not to use those last two. I, the Format Media Titles plugin is absolutely free. It comes from a WordPress uh, plugin repository. And obviously, I'll leave a link below for all of these in the description. So now we've added the uh, images. We've, we've added the uh, new media categories, and we verified our images have proper titles and proper alt descriptions. And we've went over the plugins we'll be using. So now we're thinking about what we need to do. And some things we're going to do with our products is we know we need attributes that are going to be global. So we can use them on various products. And those attributes that we're going to add now are going to be color, weight, and style. So let's go to products, attributes, and let's add some global attributes, color, weight, and style. That way we can use them on all products. We're not going to add specific colors, though you can if you have just very few. You can go ahead and add the attribute and then add those colors to that attribute. But, you know, in large stores, you're going to have all kinds of different colors and styles and whatnot. But we want the global color to be added. And we're going to, going to use a select, because in the back end, you can type in the word or you can use a select. I'm going to select from a drop down. We're going to leave all the rest at default. And we want to add weight as a variable, as a, as a global attribute. Again, we're going to use the select type. So we can select from a drop down. You'll see how that works when we get to adding products. And we're going to put another one. The final one will be style. And we're, now we have style, weight, and color as our attributes. We're going to think about our shipping. We want to change some things. If, you, if you've been following along, you know we set up flat rate shipping with a flat fee of $9.95 on all orders. Well, you know, obviously you have various types of products and whatnot. And that's just not necessarily going to be the best way to handle shipping prices. Now, WooCommerce comes, comes with shipping classes and... You can do a whole lot with just that. You can get into even more complex shipping classes with various plugins such as Table Rate. If you have really complex uh, shipping types you need to do, I would recommend that uh, Table Rate shipping plugin. It's 10 bucks a plugin for us too. And I'll leave a link below for that. But we're going to use what, come out, what comes standard out of the box with WooCommerce. And we're going to add some shipping classes. So we're going to go to Products, Shipping Classes. And I'm, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five different shipping classes I want. And they're going to be identified to me like this. Micro is going to be anything under one pound. Standard is going to be anything from one pound up to 1.99 pounds. Uh, small is going to be two to five pounds. Medium is going to be six to 15 pounds. And large is going to be 16 pounds and up. You know, I would know that from my back end, but I'm going to give them those names. So we're going to go with Micro. Standard, small, and you're going to see how all this works when we get to adding a product. So I'm just setting these up beforehand. You can set them up as you're going to. You don't necessarily have to have it all figured out. It's just kind of nice if you do have it all figured out. Uh, medium and large. All right, now we have those set up. We want to go to our WooCommerce settings. We're going to assign these various shipping classes we have to the flat rate shipping. So let's go to shipping. And let me take a look at something real quick. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. We left the shipping calculator on. In the last video, I'm going to go ahead and remove it because we're assigning prices. We're not, they're not calculating on delivery for this. So we're, I'm just going to remove that calculator because we don't actually need it for what we're doing here. That's the first thing I wanted to do. And then I wanted to go flat rate. Now, if you've been following along, you know in a prior video, we just did a flat cost of 9.95 or $9.95 per, 
per order and we had a minimum handling fee to cover our our uh, shipping supplies uh, for 395 I want to remove this altogether because we're going to start assigning some prices so cost per order we're going to remove that I'm going to leave the minimum handling I'm going to leave the minimum minimum handling fee I can't talk today to cover the you know supplies that's required bubble wrap cardboard boxes whatnot for shipping so but we're going to add a cost here and you see automatically all of our classes show up right so let's go ahead and, and we'll start we'll go from small to large so micro and my micro I'm going to set it for two dollars and ninety five cent and I'm going to leave the handling fee blank because we have the basic three dollars and ninety five cent assigned below but you can adjust handling fees on a per class basis as well I'm not going to do it in this video so I'm going to say two dollars ninety five cent for micro and then small we're going to go for four dollars and ninety five cent that's our one to two pounders there uh, medium right no excuse me small is two to five pounds medium it's gonna be six to fifteen pounds and it's gonna be eight ninety five and large which would be 16 pounds and up we're going to charge 12 uh excuse me small is 4.95 i missed something here what did i miss i missed standard okay so medium i actually have set for 12.95 and large and small is 8.95 oh i got this all screwed up Micro is 295. Standards, what's 495? Okay, large. We'll go ahead and set that for 1695. And we'll stick the standard in now. I just kind of missed it. So we now have 495 for standard. So we now have various shipping classes assigned to flat rate shipping, and we're going to assign those classes with our products. So let's go ahead and save those changes. And now we get to the fun part. We're actually going to add a product. We're going to start with the Kong dog collars. We're going to add a variable product called Kong dog collars. Let's go to products, add products. And I already have all the information set up for this. So let me go find it. Yep, Kong dog collars. This is my title. And we got a short description. If you remember the short descriptions, that little one sentence or one very small paragraph you want to show up at the top of everything. And let me see. Where am I at? Right there. I tend to use the short description in my meta description for search engine purposes as well. And that's too long, so I'm going to cut off part of it. There. We'll just use that part right there. And we've got the full description. And we're going to go put that into the description area. And we're going to make sure this is checked on pet supplies and dog accessories in the uh, categories. Let's see, we'll set a featured image. And it would be this one right there. And this is going to be a, an under product data. We want to set this for variable products. And you can give it an SQ number if you want to. This is a uh, pet accessories. We'll call it 001, whatever your SQ is. It's taxable. If you remember, we set up tax classes in a prior vid previous video. Uh, so mine's for Florida standard inventory. We're going to enable stock management. We're going to put 12 in quantity. Uh, shipping. Shipping class. This one here is going to be micro. It's going to be under a pound to ship out a dog collar, right? So we're going to use the micro shipping class. That's where the shipping classes c come in. Attributes. Uh, we're going to do color. Remember, we set up our globals. And we're going to add that. Now on the colors, we're going to add... Let me see what we got. We got red. 
And we got purple. Whoops, spelled that wrong. P U R P L E. And we're going to add lime. For lime green there. And we'll add blue. And because this is a variation, we want to make sure we have use for variations set. And we want to save that. And we're going to go to variations. And the quick way to do it once you got this set up is just link all variations. And it's going to set them all up for you. All four of them are set there. Now, in here, it's important to put the price. If you forget to put the price, your variations part won't work on the front end. So these are all $12.50 piece. Whoops, $12.50. And I'm just going to copy and paste that into all of them. You have other things. You can add a sale price. Uh, you can change your stock notices. If you want to put a weight there or a dimension there, you could do that as well. I'm not going to bother with that, but those are some of the options you have when doing these. All right. Now, if you've uploaded the variation swatches and images uh, plug-in, if you come over here and you hover right in this area right here, you'll see that little arrow. I don't know why it doesn't show up darker. It should, but might be yours might be showing up or it might not I may have a CSS color adjust uh, uh, color property set where it's just not showing the right color I don't know I'm not really worried about it at this point but if you just hover over that we can get us an image and I'm going to show you how this works on the front end so, whoops, I forgot what color that was what color are we on here we're on lime so we want to go grab the lime one we'll set that and this one will be the purple one. We'll set that. And this one will be the red one. We'll set that. And this one will be the blue one. And we'll set that. And we'll. S All right. At this point, I'm going to save draft. Because for some reason, when I want to go do the swatches, until I've saved what I just did, the swatch part of this part won't show up. So I'm going to save the draft. Then I'm going to come down here to swatches. And the color is what we're using here. And we're going to use custom colors and images. And I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to show above label. And for blue, we're going to click that. And I got my color hex values already so blue my blue hex value is this one and my lime hex value is this one and my purple hex value is this one And my red hex value is this one. And I think we are done. Let me just double check everything real quick. Make sure that we're done here. Shipping, micro, attributes, uh, variations. That's done. Swatches are done. Okay. So let's save. Let's publish this product and go take a look at it. Let's go ahead and open this in a new tab. And look, there's our color swatches. We can take a look at them by and select, by the way. So I'm going, if you notice, we got red select. So if I add that to cart, it should show the red one added to the cart. So let's take a look. And that's just from testing out some stuff earlier. And you'll notice the color red has showed up, $12.50. we got Florida tax rate going on here because I have Florida shipping set up in my account here. And we got flat rate, which was the micro. Remember, it was $2.95 plus the $3.95 for the 
shipping products uh, such as bubble wrap boxes and whatnot minimum handling fees added in there and then you can just proceed right on the checkout I don't have this thing set up to check out with anything it's just tests so we'll see that that was pretty easy to do the next thing we'll do let's go take a look at the images one let me see we want to do the image swatch shake so I can show you quickly how to do that and we're going to do that with the top fin rock aquarium caves so we're going to add a new product and we're going to come down here select pet supplies and fish accessories and we're going to set a featured image which will be the two of them together and let's throw in our short description We'll put it there, and I'm also going to put it in my meta description for SEO purposes. And we're going to grab the long description, put it in the big box. And we got our long description there. Now it's time to set up the product data. It's going to be a variable product, and this will be pet accessories 000 002 taxable shipping this is going to be a standard it's going to weigh probably a pound or so so we're going to give it a standard shipping class variations whoops attributes let's add style this will be style and we want to make sure use for variations is checked I'm going to use color names with a style attribute uh, just just to show you different ways of doing stuff. But we're going to add new orange. You can obviously name it anything you want. And tan. And we're going to save that. And on the variations. We'll link all variations so it sets them up real quick for us. Both of them. And of course you can adjust SKU numbers. I forgot to mention that last time. But we got prices. We're going to call. See which one is the orange one we're going to charge 10 bucks for. And of course it's in stock. You could add weight if you want. I'm not going to bother with that. But if you're using like table. Table rate shipping, you'd want to add a weight to calculate your shipping, but anyhow. And for the, what is this, the tan one? Yeah, the tan one, we'll charge 15 for that one. And so that is done, I believe. Yep. And if you remember, I said for some reason Swatches doesn't want to give you options until you actually save what you just did. So we're going to save the draft there. And we're going to come down to swatches. And we're going to select style. Custom colors and images. We're going to show above the label. And we're going to come down to color swatch. And we're going to use the drop down. We're going to go images. We're going to add, upload image. We're going to media library. Oh shoot, I don't forget which one. Color. I'm on orange. Okay, add, upload image. Media library. And let me see, where is that? There it is. Show that. Scroll down. I'm going to have use my thumbnail there. Insert into post. All right. Let's go ahead and close that one. And tan, we're going to do the same thing. Image. Add upload image. Select file. Whoops. Media library. Of course, you could select them from your computer if you want. And this was the tan one. Want to make sure the thumbnail. Yep, thumbnail. That's perfect. We'll insert that in. And let's see if we. I think we can just take a quick look. General inventory. Oops, enable stock management. Let's say we have 15 of those. Attributes. Style. And we have set the orange and tan correct. Yep. Alright, variations, they're set, orange and tan, 
they got their pricing in them yep got their pricing if for some reason you find that it gives you a, puts the name color or style or whatever out but no options it's because you forgot to put your pricing in I do it all the time so let's publish and let me see let's go ahead and remove this from the cart and let's go to the shop page and let's click on this or we could actually select options right from here but I wanted to come here so you can see how it works oh sometimes on the variations you have to add the image <laughs> I forgot so let's go back here again remember we got to hover over here orange we want to add the image set that variation so that, now you know what to do if that same thing happens to you right and tan we want to go add the tan one uh, sometimes it's good to mess up on video so when other people mess up they will see what went wrong and be able to quickly fix it right so let's refresh this That's why you always test out everything. And there we go. And there we go. And if you remember, we use standard shipping, so shipping should be a little bit more this time, right? We're going to view cart. And there it is. Shipping's a little bit more, a couple bucks more. Uh, I believe the last one was $6.90 under micro, and it's exactly $2 more for this. So let's go and add a product we'll wait. So we're going to add a new product. This one's going to be the dog food. Science diet, large breed, adult dog food. And we're going to put it in pet supplies. And you'll notice I need to add a new product category. We're going to call it dog food. So now they're both checked there. Whoops. You know what? I forgot to make the parent category pet supplies we can always modify that later we can go to categories and set set it to the parent I'm just gonna leave that for now and we're gonna set a featured image right there and a short description right here obviously I'm not going to use all that in my meta description I was going to use a part of it so we're just going to grab this first sentence. I would actually fine tune that a little bit, like put the name of the product in there, but I'm not going to do it for this video. So we need a long description. And let's come down. And we need to create another variable product. And we'll, this would be dog food. For SKU, I'm going to leave my tax in as is. Shipping, this will be large because it weighs 33 to... What's the weight on these things? 33 to 45, or excuse me, 17 and a half to 38 and a half pounds. So that would fall under our... Uh, I believe we set our shipping up as... Take a look at my notes here. Yeah, large shipping for 16 pounds and up. So yeah, we're going to go with a large... Because the lightest one is 17 and a half pounds. And we want to set up attributes. And we're going to go with weight. We'll add that. Make sure our use for variations is ticked. And we'll add, add new. It'll be 17.5 LBS. And add another one. It's going to be 38.5 LBS. That's going to be our options there. And variations. We need to save that first. If you get that little note that I just got, you need to save that. You forgot to save it. We'll just click link all variations. So it sets it up real quick. 
and variation prices what's my pricing on this 33 and 45 so 33 for the lighter weight one 33 and for the heavier one be 45 and we don't need swatches on this one so we're not going to mess with that and I believe we're done right we got our descriptions our SEO our other description take a quick look taxable shipping we got it set to the large shipping class attributes and there's no pictures to go with the <clears throat> variations on this particular one because we're not using the swatches so but I I could if I wanted to but there's not a reason to I'm just going to use the featured image on this so we're going to just publish that and we're going to remove this from our cart and we're going to go check out our new product so let's go to the shop page you notice we haven't set our categories up here yet we're going to do that when we get around to working on the <clears throat> front end which will probably I'm not 100% sure but I think it'll be the next video we'll start on the front end now that we have a few products in the back end so let's go take a look at our product here I have to think about what needs to come next and we're going to choose an option 38 pounds it should be $45 right and there it is we're going to add that to cart we have a new shipping class so it should be even more expensive for the shipping and there it is so there we go that's how you add variable products it's, it's not hard to do just with practice you get really quick at it again I'll leave a link below in the description to so you can get the uh, variation images and swatches plug in and the media categories plug in both of them are ten dollars each or free with a membership uh, and a link to WordPress's site for the format media titles plugin those are three plugins that we used in in this video and there's a code snippet to put in to your child's function PHP that will keep the new media categories from showing up on the front end you don't really want them to show up on the front end with your post and product categories I will leave I will include that as well along with this video at the site and I'll leave a link directly there for that code snippet if you if you don't know how to s put that in there into your child's functions uh, PHP I recommend you look at I believe it's video number three I'll leave a link to the correct one on how to create a child theme that's where we actually did that the instructions would be in there so visit pluginforge.com for really good deals on WooCommerce and WordPress premium plugins and themes uh, right now we got almost 200 WooCommerce plugins available and we're in the 30s on the WordPress and adding daily so check back often and visit SkeeterZ71.com for a bunch of free videos on web and graphic design and you have a good day.